Hey cat lovers, welcome back to another video here on the Jato Felino channel. Today we're tackling a topic that raises a lot of questions, how to properly scold a cat. We all know cats are independent creatures and sometimes they exhibit behaviors that need correcting. But how do you do this effectively without harming your relationship with your pet? Let's find out together. First off, it's crucial to understand that the way cats learn is very different from dogs. They respond much better to positive reinforcement than to scolding. So yelling or physically punishing your cat is not only ineffective, but can also damage the trust and bond you share. Instead, the key is to redirect the cat's behavior to something more acceptable. For instance, if your cat is scratching the sofa, instead of just scolding them, offer an attractive alternative like a scratching post. Place it near where they tend to scratch, and whenever they use it, reward them with affection or a treat. This reinforces positive behavior while also protecting your furniture. Another common issue is a cat that insists on jumping on the table during meals. In this case, it's important not just to say no, but also to provide a comfy and appealing spot for them near the table. You could place a bed or a cushion on the floor or in an adjacent chair. This shows the cat where they can stay during meals without invading your table space. Moreover, keeping calm during the scolding process is essential. Cats are very sensitive to voice tone and body language. Using a firm yet calm tone helps convey your message without frightening or stressing out the animal. Remember, the goal isn't to make the cat fear you, but to understand the behavior you expect from them. As we implement these techniques, it's important to watch your cat's response. Each cat is unique and might react differently to redirection strategies. Patience is crucial in this process, as it may take some time for the cat to adopt the new behaviors you desire. In our next video, we'll continue to explore this topic, bringing more tips on how to maintain a harmonious relationship with your cat, even when you need to correct some of their less desirable behaviors. In the process of training your cat, one technique that can be extremely helpful is the timeout. If your cat exhibits overly aggressive behavior, like biting or scratching during play, taking a break can help. Simply stop the interaction and leave the area for a short while, this teaches the cat that aggressive behaviors result in less attention, not more. When you return, give them another chance to play appropriately, positively reinforcing the times when they behave acceptably. Consistency is another key point. Cats learn through repetition, so it's crucial that everyone in the household follows the same rules and correction methods. This helps create a clear and stable environment for the cat, where they can easily understand what is expected of them. If one person in the house allows the cat on the table while another scolds them for it, the animal can become confused and stressed, which is counterproductive. Finally, we'd love to hear from you. What techniques have you used to correct behaviors in your cats? Any tips that worked particularly well? Share your stories in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more tips on how to live in harmony with your feline friends. See you in the next video.